Welcome back, everybody. I'm glad you could join me. Today, I'm going to talk about... What am I talking about today? Uh, conditional statements, which is... Um, basically, the if statement in Java. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new class. And I'm going to call it... Um, if prac if practice and we'll go ahead and get started okay so up until now all the programs that we created were pretty predictable every single line that we executed that we wrote was executed so if we look back at the reading practice all these lines were executed we knew exactly what was going to happen or if, we, if I go back to string practice or var practice any of those previous projects we knew exactly what was going to happen just by looking at the code every single one of these lines um, were executed. With conditional statements, um, we allow the program to basically make decisions on its own uh, based on certain conditions. And these conditions are, are um, Boolean expressions, which means they result to be either true or false. So if that condition is true, then we can do a certain part of the code. And if it's false, then we can you know avoid certain parts of the code so so with if statements which is the conditional statement in java with if statements we can make our programs um you know uh do certain parts of the code or avoid certain parts of the code um based on if a condition is true or false so i'm going to go ahead and type a very basic if statement so that you know what i'm talking about let's say i have an int called I don't know, awesome points. Okay, and I'm gonna initialize awesome points to five. All right, and I'm gonna have an if statement. You type in if, open parentheses, and then inside you put the condition, which is usually like a Boolean expression, which means some, you can use comparison operators, greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, equal to or not equal to. So I'll just give an example. If awesome, a, uh, awesome points is greater than 10 then I'm gonna go ahead and print oh wait I forgot to put this I'll explain this later um, then I'm gonna print oh my god I'm awesome okay so this basically says, okay, so we declared a variable called awesome points. I initialized it to five. Okay, it's an int. And then I'm saying if awesome points, so if this box, so it's gonna, it's gonna go inside memory, it's gonna check this box and it's gonna see what's inside. And it goes, oh, there's a five inside. And it goes, is five greater than 10? It's a condition, it's a question. It's asking a question that, and the answer is gonna be either true or false. If this condition turns out to be true, it goes in and executes whatever is inside these curly braces, which belong to this if statement. This is called a block code. So everything inside these two curly braces um, belongs to this if statement and will only execute if this results to be true. Since it's not true, since awesome points is five and five is not greater than 10, it's going to skip this code and move on. It's just going to move on. It's going to go down and continue. So if I go ahead and I print here, so, so mm, the end, right? If I go ahead and run this program, it's not going to print, oh my god, I'm awesome. It's going to run straight to the end and print the end. So using this if statement, this condition, we were able to avoid this part of the code. And it goes straight to um, whatever is after it. Okay, remember this this um, curly brace belongs to the main. Okay, now if I had changed awesome points to let's say 34, okay, it goes oh 34 is it greater than 10? Yes, that's true. It executes this, and then it's done with the if statement. It goes on, so it should print. Oh my God, I'm awesome! And then the end. Okay, so that's a very basic if statement. Now, um, I can use, instead of greater than, I can use greater than or equal to, oops, greater than or equal to, I can use less than or equal to, 
I can use um, equal to. Now, if I'm checking if something's equal to another, I use two equal signs. That's just a question. If I use one equal sign, that means it's an assignment. I'm, I'm making 34 um, go into awesome points. If I have two equal signs that's saying, hey, is awesome points equal to 10? It's a question that answers true or false. Okay, so I'm going to keep it at greater than just so I can show you another example. Now, um, if I type in the else statement, which is the other part of the if statement, this basically means if this condition is false, it's going to jump to the else statement. So it's impossible for something to be true and false. Therefore, in an if else statement, either this or this section will be executed. Either the if block or the else block will be executed. Never both. So if awesome points is greater than 10, it's going to print, oh, we got them awesome. If not, it's going to say, I don't know. Um, I fail with a pH. Because it sounds cool like that. Okay. So in this case, um, it's going to check if uh, awesome points is greater than 10. And if it is, it's going to... It's, it's going to print, oh my god, I'm awesome, and then skip the else section, like so. It prints, oh my god, I'm awesome, and then the end. And if I change awesome points to 10, 10 is not greater than 10, so it fails this if statement. So it skips, oh my god, I'm awesome, and then it goes to the else part and prints, I fail, and then... Right, it prints I fail, and then it goes, it moves on, it goes to the rest of the code, and it and it has on um, the end. Okay, um, so that's basically a an if statement, just a very simple um, tool that you can use to make your program smarter. Uh, just think about all the possibilities that you can have. Now you can have password protection. So let's do a quick password program. So I'm going to create a, um, I mean, what you would call it, uh, a string. Well, well, first let's come with this out. So, do, 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 do. all right, I'm gonna create a string and I'm gonna call it password. And I'm gonna make it equal to, I don't know, bleh. That's the password, the top secret password, right? And then I'm going to have an if statement that says if. Um, mm, password dot equals, and I'll have another password. I'll call it entered password e p entered p. If that's the case, I'm going to print password accepted. Else, I'm going to print. You have been denied. Okay, so I'm gonna make another string called entered p, and I'm going to use a scanner. If you don't remember scanners, look at my previous sca uh, screencast. Scanner eyes equals new scanner system dot in. Uh, let's import this awesome little package, and I'm going to ask the user to enter in password. All right, so I'm asking the user to enter in their password and I'm gonna use my eyes to scan it. So I'm gonna say entered P equals eyes dot next. I'm using next because it's a string. And then I'm gonna check to see if password dot equals entered P. Now dot equals is a string method that returns a Boolean true or false. If it's true, it's going to say password accepted. If it's not, it's going to say you have been denied. So let's go ahead and run that. Enter in password. If I say my password is BLE, it's going to say you have been denied because it's not bleh. If I run it again and I say bleh, and I type in enter, it's, it says password accepted. And then it goes to the rest of the program and says the end. Okay. That's it for if statements. I'll talk more about um, if statements later and uh, while, while loops and all this other cool stuff. Goodbye.
different tone, they'd understand. 